Good afternoon. In this video is going to be part two of our programming for our lathe. So, so far we got our frames, we got our simulations at start point, which is everything at rock and roll as if it was cutting. We have our variables. Inside our variables, we initialized a bunch of position registers and also data registers. Then we have a part pickup. So the robot is ready to pick up and it goes back to the home position. Now we need to start setting up the lathe position. So the first thing we need to do is get the lathe to be in a safe position. So let's go down here and we're going to insert new instruction, miscellaneous remark. And this is going to be our lathe safe and ready. Okay. So now that we have the lathe safe and ready, we can first open our door. So let's go and create a new program. And we're going to call this a lathe safe and ready. Okay, inside here, we're going to new instruction and we're going to call. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the door. So lathe door open. Then we're going to put our turret in a safe position as well. So we're going to new instruction. We're going to call, call program. And then we're going to go lathe turret at safe position. And then we also want to make sure that our jaws of our chuck is also open as well. So we're going to go down to end new instruction, call, call program, and lathe chuck open. So now everything is at safe position. Let's go back to our main program. So master lathe. So we made a last master lathe program. And inside here, we're going to go new instruction. We're going to call, call program, and we're going to go lathe safe position. So lathe safe and ready. So, so far, if I run this, Go pick up, clamps, opens, everything goes to safe position, clamp opens, and now we're ready to place our robot into the machine and then place our part into the machine. And then let's go lathe pickup. So let's go new instruction, miscellaneous remark. And this is going to be lathe place. And inside our lathe place, we're going to create a new program. So we're going to go select create and inside here we're going to go a lathe place part and then we're going to make sure our registers are all good so i'm just go remark frames u tool number one just in case best things just be redundant so that things don't happen let's go edit command and then insert about 20 lines just so we have enough. And then the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in home position, just in case. I know we're in home position right now, but it doesn't hurt to make sure that we are in home position every single time we do this. So we're going to do a joint movement and we're going to go position register number one, home position. Okay, so now that we're in home position, now we're going to save a couple parts and move our robot around. So we can do that by we're going to first let's name this. So we're going to call this move to lathe and I'm going to do this by a show joint movement. So I can click inside here and I can start moving this around. So I'm going to get add move point and I'm going to do a continuous move on this. And then I'm going to add move point. Now we're going to do a continuous move again. So I'm getting this into position and making sure that I'm not going to run the robot in anything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to this position right here. So I'm going to click the machine and I'm going to go to parts and then I'm going to go move to. And then we move right to our part exactly where we need to be. So then what we want to do is we want to now move into this position right here, including a safe position. So I'm going to go new instruction, miscellaneous remark, and this is going to be my place safe position. And then I'm going to go add move point, and we're going to do a joint movement to that. And 
This is going to be position register number three. So when we go choice, position register number three, which is our lathe chuck that we saved from our previous video. And then we're going to add our tool offset. So right here, we're going to go tool offset, position register. Let's see what position register it was for tool offset. I think it was 15. Move on down. So we have our original tool offset, which is the pickup in place. Our lathe tool offset is 15. So let's go back to edit, and we're going to use 15. So now that we are in that safe position, now we want to move to the actual position. So I'm going to go new instruction, miscellaneous, remark, and this is going to place to chuck or move to chuck. And we're going to add move point. We're doing a linear movement into that. And then we're going to go new instruction and we're going to do a safe place. Why don't we just copy this? So I'm going to go edit command, copy, select, and I'm going to move down here. I'm going to go copy, go down here, and then we're going to paste. And because it is a position register and a position register for an offset, we can just do logic because it saves the same items. So now that we have our safe position moved to chuck, we also have to now place our items. So we need to add a few lines in here. And this is going to be the placing of the part. So I'm going to go new instruction, miscellaneous, remark. And we're going to place this part. And I'm going to actually go simulation. New instruction. And then we're going to call, call program. And this is where we're going to place our object. So here we have lathe chuck drop off. So let's call that program. And then we have our safe place. So it should now move away from our position. And then we would move out of the robot as well. So let's actually just run this and see what it looks like. So let's go to home position. Drops off, moves out. Okay, so looks like everything is good. Now we need to move our robot directly out so that the door can close. So let's go down to our area here and we're going to now call this robot safe position out of way. And now we're going to add a couple different joint movements here so that we can get our robot out directly without moving it side to side. So we just move it off to the side here and I may do this in a couple different rotations here and we're going to do a linear movement out here so we know we're not jogging into anything else that we're not supposed to so I'm going to do a linear fine from that position keep moving it out making sure that we are directly out of the way it looks pretty close let's move this down just a hair bit there we go so now I'm going to add move point and then we're going to linear to that as well. So now that I have my robot out of the way, this program is now set. So let's go back to our main program, master program. And then here's our lathe place. We're going to go new instruction. We're going to call, call program. We're going to go to the lathe place part. So now we have our lathe place part. So let's try this whole entire program out. I like to always try things out to make sure everything's working. Awesome. So, so far we got the robot out of the way. So now we need to put our lathe into rock and roll position. So we actually already have this in rock and roll position. It's actually the simulating the start point. So let's go new instruction and let's turn on teach pendant first. Remark, and then we're going to run the machine. Lathe run mode. And then we're going to go new instruction. We're going to call, and it's going to be simulate start point. Actually, I think simulate start point opens our chuck. So going into simulation start point, it looks like we have a home position. Lathe at rock and roll. 
the chuck is closed which is good door is closed and also the jaw is open so basically what we need to do is we need to get rid of this home position here out of this program so that we can use this so let's actually delete this home program so I'm going to go in here I'm going to go delete yes so now it's doing everything that we needed to do so now let's go back to our program master program and before we get the simulate call starting point let's add a home position before this as well so we we'll insert one line we're going to go add move point and we're going to do a joint movement and this is going to go to our home position so we're just taking it out of that program and placing it into our main program so now we have our home position call simulation program and now we can use the simulation program down here as well so now our simulation program now it should run the way it's supposed to so let's just check this there we go so now we have our machine running so we could do a runtime of so much time so let's do a wait and let's say it's running for three seconds so now that it's running now we need to open up the doors and everything else so now that the lathe is ready so let's go new instruction miscellaneous and we're going to do this as a part pickup part pickup from lathe so the first thing we need to do is make sure our door is open so let's go and create a new program so let's go select create and let's call this a and once again just making sure that we have the proper frames correct always like to put in frames just to make sure that everything is good just in case something moves and i'm going to add some lines here so i'll go 10 or so and now we're going to do the lathe safe. So new instruction call. The first thing we want to do is open up the door. So lathe door open. And then we're going to move the turret out of the way. So we're going to call, call program, and lathe turret safe position. So now that we're in safe position, now we need to move our robot back into place. So we can now move back in here the same way that we did from our previous program. So let's actually move these things out of the way. So when we click number five, we're going to step shift forward. So now we have our stuff open and out of the way. So here we're going to move to safe position. Move to position inside lathe. So this one, I'm going to start saving a couple move points here, moving my robot in, making sure that we're doing a linear movement. There we go. And then we're going to now move to our safe position. Insert a couple lines. And now we're going to now match what we did for the placement of our object. So now we're going to add move point and we're going to just do a continuous and we're going to use a position register here. So position register number three and we're going to add our tool offset of 15. So now that's at safe position. Now we're going to do to pick up position but first we want to make sure that our claw is open so we never assume that things are open uh, we want to make sure that it is so basically inside here where we do the call let's move it up here so that we know that our claw is open so let's go new instruction call call program and let's do jaw open so that we know that it is open before it even gets into the machine now yes it is probably open from our previous program but we never assume things we always add it in there it will just skip it if it's already at that position so now let's add a new instruction remark and then we're going to do the pickup position so we're going to go 
add move point. We're doing this as a linear motion, and this is going to be position register number three. So the lathe pickup, no offsets. And then we're going to do the actual pickup. So simulation. So simulation pickup from lathe. Now we're going to go new instruction. We're going to call, call program. And this is where we need to do the lathe pickup. So lathe chuck pickup program. And then we need to move it out of the way. So we're going to go to safe position. So let's copy this again. Down here, because it's a position register, I just did logic. So the lathe chuck, safe position, all good. So now we're out. And now we need to move out of the machine. We go at move point. I'm going to do this as a joint movement. And then I'm going to move it to the side. to get ready for our movement inside here. There we go, so our final position from that place. We're going all the way down and around and out of the machine. And we can put our machine into our safe position. And then let's call on that program to close up our machine. And then that ends our program. So let's go back into our master. Here's our pickup part lathe. Go to instruction, call, and pickup part lathe. So let's try this out, see what it looks like. And there we go. Next video, we will do the placement and then we'll do the for loops after that.